Hello, had to give you a clue about what uh, tonight's episode, special two-part, two-parter, blues episode, yes, about the harp. I am obviously not a very good harp player, I only got this at Christmas, so I'm still sort of practicing <laughs> on this lovely thing, um, my little Fender Blues Deluxe. Uh, so yes, uh, great harp players, great blues harp players, of course, uh, are central to the history of uh, the blues and then going straight into sort of blues rock with Led Zeppelin and the Stones and, you know, the whole British blues invasion, of course. Um, when you think of the great uh, singers, you know, the Robert Plants, the um, Mick Jaggers, etc., and the great guitarists, of course, who we covered <laughs> quite a few, or I tried to. Um, you've also got the great harpists. Uh, so we're going to do two today. The first two, uh, I mean, I could cover many, of course. And do the first two of this two-parter. There'll be a second part later on in the month. Well, it's the end of January now, so we've already had the first month of the year already shot past <laughs> New Year's Day. Seems to feel like it was a year ago already uh, to me. Uh, so we're going into February soon. So by the time you see this and it's uploaded and on the channel, it'll probably be about February the 1st, if not February the 1st. So, yeah, the second part will be hopefully mid-February, possibly the end of February, depends how busy I've been. Um, I'm finally having my, after waiting a year and a half, finally, um, in the next week, or two, week and a half or so, finally having my heart reset at the hospital, my heartbeat and everything which is short, sort out a lot of the problems health-wise I've been having, thank goodness, if it works, touch wood. Um, so if that's all gone well, I'll be at home anyway, recuperating. So, um, yeah maybe mid 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 February the second part so for today for tonight's episode um we're going to have uh two performances the first from uh a very famous art player called little walter um and then we're going to have uh our second and final piece tonight from um the great sonny boy williamson now if you Go right back to the beginning of the channel, just over a year ago. First or second video, I think it was, that I made. Uh, it was Sonny Boy Williamson. I think he was uh, performing Your Funeral, My Trial. Great, fantastic live performance from the mid-60s. Both of these performances, they don't really tell me all the information, but I think they're both, again, mid-60s. This is a time when... Uh, this sort of um, generation of blues artists from the 40s, 50s have suddenly become quite uh, popular and prominent uh, because at this time the British blues invasion uh, with the younger artists are now referring, when they're saying, when people are asking them, who are your influences to the Stones and, and people like that, they're saying, oh well. You know, there's this guy called Little Walter, there's this guy called Muddy Waters, there's this guy called uh, Howling Wolf, and, you know, um, that were making great records back in the 30s, 40s, 50s that uh, we managed to get hold of in sort of 1950s Britain, which was no small thing, <laughs> which influenced a lot of the bands. So at this time in the mid 60s, as, you know, like the Big Claws and the Stones, etc., are starting to make big waves in the US and already here in the UK. Uh, the TV stations um, were, particularly like the BBC here in the UK, were making specific programmes um, and over in the US um, with the aim of 
bringing these artists who are now older, you know, often in their sort of 50s, 60s, 70s even, um, bringing them in front of the cameras, asking them to play some of their um, some of their music, um, bring along friends, you know, uh, so that they become wider, more widely known to the public. Uh, and also, I think, with a mind to sort of document um, this music uh, and the performers of the music um, for posterity, for us, for, for future generations, really, you know, and uh, um, of course, they're all long gone now. Um, as I say, they were of an age at the time. So I think these are both from the mid 60s in those sorts of programs. Uh, also happened in Europe. Uh, you'll find quite a few clips of these sort of um, jazz blues artists, uh, older ones from the 40s and 50s, uh, in sort of uh, with very white straight lace presenters with their, their you know, <laughs> their slim ties and their 60s sort of suits and things and their collars. Uh, 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 explaining, presenting the music to their audiences at the time in sort of, you know, uh, Scandinavia, Germany, France, all of this, you know, as well. So um, quite a few of the clips you'll find on YouTube have that sort of thing as well. Uh, so this is Little Walter, and this is Little Walter's Jump. Not very long, um, but you'll just... Uh, now, you'll notice that a lot of the songs with great harpists, they have obviously the usual sort of drummer and the guitarists and a rhythm guitarist, uh, bassist, etc. It's usually pretty straightforward, uh, simplistic, you know, very simplistic sort of uh, standard blues progression, standard sort of, you know, a, a, a sort of a, a platform for them to actually do their stuff on as a, a sort of like a solo artist, really, you know. Um, the whole point is to support them and their heart playing. Um, so nothing flashy or showy from the from the band. That's supposed to come from the harpist, really. So um, you'll notice that it's not, you know, it's 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 it, that's who you're listening to, or you're listening out for, really, and sort of enjoying, you know. So uh, anyway, enough of me talking, yabbing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Little Walters jump from the mid '60s. Here we go. That was Booker White giving you his interpretation of the blues from the South. Right now we're gonna move north, all the way to Chicago, Illinois. I bring you a gentleman by the name of Little Walter. Thank you. 
go. Wasn't that great? Short, sweet, really, you know, something you can move to, something you can dance to, just, which was what it was for, you know, it was for, <laughs> you know, it was to go out, uh, you know, after work and have a bit of a dance and a drink, you know. Um, as uh, uh, the gentleman introducing Little Walter there, obviously this is a, a, I think this is one of those Scandinavian programmes where a lot of artists were brought on. This is a clip from it. Uh, but yes, they were showcasing different styles from different areas of the US, you know. So obviously you've got uh, Southern Blues, Country Blues, uh, which is often acoustic, unmiked, you know, you know um, sort of stuff. And then you've got Little Walter, who was famous uh, for his Chicago Blues. And Chicago Blues, um, whether it's the harp, the guitar, um, it's basically shorthand for, you know, uh, electrified blues uh, uh, blues or style uh, styles on the guitar harmonics and, um, best suited for um, the microphone for um, for recording basically you know uh, so little Walter for example was famous you would have heard it there you would have um, heard the sort of wah wah sound he was able to sort of make with his mouth and his hands from the harmonica, which he was famous for, it's called the, the Chicago Wah, <laughs> which is, of course, then emulated um, uh, when they started having uh, sort of Vox and Dunlop Wah pedals for the guitar uh, were being brought out to sort of, you know, um, open and close the signal or reduce the signal, you know, uh, to get that Wah Wah sound, uh, which you'll you hear quite regularly on them um, sort of uh, Eric Clapton cream uh, recordings records uh, like Sunshine Eagle and things like that uh, uh, on his SG Gibson SG quite a lot of wah wah Jimi Hendrix he was the uh, Dunlop bar I think pedal but it's all to sort of emulate the um, not only the the, the, the well the wah wah the wah produced by people like the with their sort of technique in their hands. Uh, but also you would notice in blues harmonica, there's a lot of bending of the notes, uh, which is kind of the point, similar to the bending of the string, the notes on the string and the, on the guitar, essential sort of basic blues technique. Um, and with the vocalists, blues singers. Um, so that was Little Walter. We'll now move on to Sonny Boy Williamson. As I say, a little bit older than Little Walter, recording will be about the same time, mid-60s, and uh, yeah, there'll be a little bit of a cut here, I'll be right back. So, we're back, as promised, uh, with our second uh, great harpist, blues artist tonight, uh, and yes, we've moved on to Sonny Boy Williamson, another famous huge name in, not just as a uh, great harpist, but just blues at full stop um, and we're going to listen to Bye Bye Birdie um, this is another live performance in front of an audience uh, and this is Sonny Boy on his own so he's doing everything himself basically so you'll hear the te slight, technique is slightly different because he hasn't got a backing band so he's he's doing more with the harmonica and his mouth is he's, 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 well than picking out specific sort of single notes He's blowing wider, so he's, he's basically blowing through more holes at once, you know. And then going to the, when he's, he's singing as well, and then um, what he wants to do is a little bit of soloing and all licks, basically. Um, he sort of then sort of pinpoints specific notes, which is the hard thing to do on the harmonica, is uh, you've, uh, hang on, I'm find one. which is what I'm trying to learn to do, is you've got the ten holes, and it's, Difficult to begin with when you start off. Uh, the trick is to try and just blow air into one hole without air leaking into <laughs> any of the others, you know. So that's what the first thing you sort of try and learn to do. Um, not as easy as it might appear. It takes a lot of practice. And then obviously you start learning to bend notes and things. Again, not so easy on the, mon on what, on the harmonica <laughs> as it is on the guitar. So here we go. Bye, my birdie. Sonny Boy Williamson, mid-60s. I hope you enjoy. Take it away. Three, two, one.
Sono i voi. Again, very interesting because, as you can see in here, there because there's no backing band, there's no bottom end from the drum and the bass, drums and the bass. Uh, he stayed entirely down the, the 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 bottom end, the bottom register of the uh, harmonica, and to give himself that sort of you know that harmony, the bass between the bottom end of the harmonica, the lower notes, and his uh, voice, and then uh, at the end, even a little bit of <laughs> rhythm. You didn't even have to hold it, but uh, that was great. I enjoyed that anyway. So that's the first part. Um, I'll see you in the second part. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to move on to um, uh, Paul Butterfield, Paul, yeah, excuse me, Paul Butterfield, uh, fantastic, someone's a lot of people's favorite harmonica player. Uh, and he's uh, just him and his blues, famous blues band again, mid 60s. Um, and I haven't decided who our second artist might be. We might just stay with Paul, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'll see you in part two. Have a nice start to the, the month of February. And uh, look after yourselves. Take care. And uh, this is JB Blues, out. <laughs>